Have you ever felt as though things are just too much for you? That you're in a situation you see no way of getting out of? Do you look at problems in our world today and wonder, how can they ever be solved? All of this and more is also in the story of Prophet Yunus, peace be upon him. The journey of Prophet Yunus is a story that teaches us that there is a way out. We just need faith. The story of Prophet Yunus and the whale. A long time ago, in a place called Assyria, Allah sent a prophet to the people of Nineveh. His name was Prophet Yunus. Allah commanded Prophet Yunus to teach the people of Nineveh to give up corruption and greed and to turn to Allah. He also wanted them to stop doing evil and lead a good life. But the people of Nineveh wouldn't listen to Prophet Yunus and he felt like giving up. Even though he was a prophet, he still felt sad and let down when he saw horrible things happen around him. Prophet Yunus tried to stay strong, day after day, but to no avail. So he left the city. After leaving the city, Prophet Yunus boarded a ship and set sail to go far away from the city that he left behind. Once at sea, a dark and scary storm started to take place. Waves as high as mountains covered the ship in water, and it began to fill with water, weighing it down. They tried to throw luggage overboard, but it didn't work. So the people of the ship decided that they would throw a man overboard. They drew names to decide who to throw overboard. They selected Prophet Yunus's name, but the people believed him to be a good man and didn't want to throw him overboard. So they tried again, and again his name was drawn. They drew names a few more times, and each time the name that kept coming up was Prophet Yunus. It was clear now to the sailors that they must throw Prophet Yunus into the sea in order to protect the ship. And Prophet Yunus fell into the dark, stormy sea. But once he was in the water, something extraordinary happened. Allah sent a whale to swallow Prophet Yunus whole. This was actually a great miracle to Prophet Yunus. Did you know the blue whale is the largest animal that ever lived and can weigh as much as 24 elephants? Whales are unique, beautiful, graceful, and mysterious. They nurture each other, form friendships, innovate, grieve, play, sing, and cooperate with one another. Once inside the belly of the whale, Prophet Yunus descended to the bottom of the sea filled with total despair. How will I survive this? How do I get out of this situation, he thought. And worst of all, he was surrounded by complete darkness. The darkness of the whale's stomach, the darkness of the sea, and the darkness of his own thoughts. Even though Prophet Yunus believed in Allah and was a prophet, he felt doubt and sadness. He began to reflect on his actions. He left the people before Allah had asked him to leave, and he felt regret over giving up so quickly. It was in the depths of his sadness that, suddenly, things changed. The Qur'an says, And he called out within the darkness, There is no God but you. Glory be to you. Indeed, I have certainly done wrong. In that moment, Prophet Yunus realized that Allah was in control of all things, and in asking for help, Allah heard his prayer. The whale began to sing praises of Allah, and everyone in the sea began to sing praises of Allah. The whale swam to the surface of the sea and to the shore where he gently released Prophet Yunus back to land. Just as Allah saved Prophet Yunus from the storm and drowning in the sea, he also brought his prophet safely back to land. Once the prophet had recovered from his ordeal, he returned to Nineveh, where he learned that the people of the city had turned to Allah. There are so many beautiful lessons from this story of Prophet Yunus. If you ever feel like you're in the belly of the whale, surrounded by darkness with no way out, turn to Allah and place your trust in him. He will surely rescue you and provide a way out for you too, inshallah.